In this edition of It's Night Time, we commemorate a turning point in South African cricket. It's game time in Kimberley. We play golf with the Chevrolet Knights. The team attacks the airwaves. Returning to high school. Cloppers extend support to the team. And batting records shatter in bloom. It's night time. My nickname in the, the team is Shadow. Um, it comes along from under 15 days, back at one with boys, but definitely Shadow. Uh, the expectation, especially with the two new captains, I think they're both great leaders. We get on very well with each other. I think we, a lot of teams are underestimating us this year, so we expect to upset a few guys and teams. Just to all the loyal Chevrolet Knight supporters, just come down and support us. We'll be doing our, our thing here at the field. Um, there's obviously a lot of Right, we will cross the corner, but please feel free to come support us, guys. The Chevrolet Knights returns to Kimberley for their next outing on the playing field, but it was clear from the outset that Kimberley was ready for top-class cricket action. Kimberley will always stand out in the South African cricket fraternity as the place where the face of South African cricket was changed forever. On 26 January 1990, in protest of the Mike Gatting Rebel Tour, more than 2,000 people gathered at one of the gates of the Diamond Oval to protest the separatism that still existed in South African cricket. A commemorative plaque was unveiled by the Minister of Sport, Mr. Fakile Mbalula, at this gate to mark its historical significance. Andre Oudenhal, CEO of Western Province Cricket Union, explains. This gate represented the exclusions of the past. For a hundred years, South African cricket was segregated. And one side was for whites only and black players were on the other side. On the 26th of January um, 1990, the non-racial sports people decided that we must put an end to the rebel tours and to the way in which the establishment has worked. And 2,000 people lined up outside this gate and uh, symbolically opened it on that day. Um, the establishment realized that for the future of South African cricket, we needed to enter into negotiations that led to unity and symbolically the gate of opportunity was opened. And that's why looking back 24 years later is very important to remember some of those moments. Riza Hendricks was honored as one of the beneficiaries of the protest action of 1990. And Eugene Jacobs, CEO of Griqualand West Cricket Board, was on hand to do the honors. I just wanted to congratulate Riza as one of the beneficiaries um, from the protest in 1990. Um, that he's now um, been selected for the Proteas uh, to go to Australia. And coming from Kimberley, we're very proud of his achievement. It was off to Kimberley for the Chevrolet Knights hosting the Cape Cobras in what promised to be a thrilling Momentum Cup limited overs encounter. With the Diamond Oval drenched in history, a very special place for the Knights indeed. But on arrival at the ground, the team management seemed concerned about the weather conditions. But there's always time for a little fun. The match umpires getting in on it and explaining some technology changes in the game. Yeah, these are the two blind men for the day, the second uh, uh, Momentum Cup match. Now these glasses we'll use for the Specsavers moment. The Specsavers moment will be when you normally go for the TV replay, any allowable replays. Uh, when you go upstairs. So what we need to do is actually take the, the glasses off and show it. Show it to the TV umpire instead of going the normal TV shape. But it was soon back to the serious business of playing a Momentum Cup match as the pitch and grounds looked in perfect nick. The Chevrolet Knights being put through their warmer paces by team management. Time for the coin toss and former Protea great Craig Matthews was on hand for Supersport to do the toss. Justin Ontong for the Cobras winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. The game started off steadily with the Knights batting first and slowly putting some runs on the board. Riley Rousseau top scoring for the home side with 57 from 62 balls including 10 falls. But it was ultimately the weather that had the final say, turning ugly very quickly. With the reduced match, the Knights were reduced to 162 all out. The Cobras taking the match and winning by seven wickets. Andrew Puttick top scoring with an unbeaten 89 runs from 97 balls. Hi, I'm Dumelo Wudibe. I'm a keeper batsman for the Chevrolet Knights. During my spare time, I like to spend time with uh, my friends. We like to go out, dance, play PlayStation. 
and come watch us play at our next game, it's nice time. One of the most important parts of any professional sport franchise is contact with supporters and sponsors away from the playing field. It is here that professional relationships are secured and people can identify with the players who they would otherwise only see on the pitch or television. This is often achieved by hosting golf days. One of the aspects of the Chevrolet Knights that stands out is the relationship they have with both fans and also neighbouring sporting franchises. Cheetah's assistant coach, Frankie Smith, lining up his tee shot and sending it straight down the middle. Golf Days, as hosted by the Chevrolet Knights, is a fantastic tool for businesses, supporters, sponsors and potential sponsors to interact and get to know the team. Each four ball also had a Chevrolet Knights player playing along to ensure that the guys get to know the men behind the pads. Team sponsor Chevrolet, always well represented. Golf can be a thirsty job, but luckily the Ferris X was on hand to help with that. A hard day of golf successfully completed. Now for the prize giving. Free State Cricket CEO Yuan van Yeven having to concede and was gracious in defeat, playing with Alistair Ironside from GM South Africa. Alistair, welcome to Bloemfontein. It was an awesome day playing with you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the good-looking team did not win. So. <laughs> But well done, and it's always a, a good way to, to make the to make the uh, the sponsor win the day. So uh, <laughs> next time round, uh, I don't know if you will be that lucky, but um, good. We've got it on camera. Money, I owe you. <laughs> Thanks, John. Well it's played. Absolute pleasure coming down. Yeah, and you welcome so to Blue Day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. MC for the evening, Andre Kunz from OFM Breakfast Special and President of Free State Cricket, Zona Tamai, was on hand to hand out the prizes for the day. One of the inherent parts of being a professional athlete is the relationship built up with the media. As part of the brand and franchise marketing efforts, these players are required to sometimes set aside the shyness and become avid radio presenters. Riza Hendricks and Courtney Dry being put through their paces by Andre Kunz and Anna Fisser from the OFM Breakfast Special. But that was not enough, and the guys shot over to Radio Roosestad and Dylan de Priya visited Yaku de Vet. Giving back to the community is part of the responsibility of the professional athletes, and the Chevrolet Knights takes this responsibility very seriously. At one of Bloemfontein's top high schools, Jim Fouchier, the team was on hand as a surprise when the school announced their first cricket team. As part of the school's prize giving, it was Weber Spinard and Rudy Second congratulating the cricketers. After the ceremony, the guys had the opportunity to share some experience with the youngsters in the nets. Never underestimating the value of their idols mentoring their efforts, Shadley van Skalkbeck helping out with some advice. Pite van Bouillon going through the basics of fielding and catches. Pite turning into quite a TV presenter and interviewer. Kate, how do you feel about your I think it's a good thing to be able to do it on the new players that come. Good talent, so I see that we're out of the new season. Okay, fantastic. And what uh, what do you need in span? I guess I'm actually an all-rounder, but I choose only to bat. That's my only chance to win. Okay, that's good. But the Chevrolet Knights never visits a school without bringing something special for the kids, sharing tickets to the game and T-shirts with the future Chevrolet Knight stars. In the modern era of professional sport, it would be unrealistic to expect franchises to carry the financial burden of running a team on their own and based on ticket sales alone. This is why sponsors are so important. Kloppers has become synonymous with value for money and is one of the most recognized names in Bloemfontein. As avid sport supporters, it was the Klopper brothers presenting the Chevrolet Knights with a very handy injection. Stefan Klopper, co-owner of Kloppers, explains their involvement with the Chevrolet Knights. We've been involved from day one with the Chevrolet Knights. And in fact, long before the franchise started, we've been involved with Free State Cricket. Well, the fact that we are very promptly branded on the Chevrolet Knights uh, Playing here gives us a lot of local and national exposure, which is great to us. From us troopers, we certainly wish them all the best for the season. They've got the right leaders in place, they've got the right team in place, so, uh, and we urge the public to support them. They, they really deserve it and need it. With the game against the Dolphins on the cards, the Chevrolet Knights marketing team made a turn at the University of the Free State, handing out tickets to the students for this crucial game. 
We are the night's number one supporters. Come see us. Live on its night time. Go night, we love you night. Chevrolet Park was the scene for another thrilling encounter between the Chevrolet Knights and the Sunfoil Dolphins. A perfect day in Bloemfontein, promising great cricket action in a game that turned out to be a run festival. The Dolphins winning the toss and electing to bat first in a game that saw 709 runs scored and only seven wickets lost in total, the crowd was treated to an electrifying batting display by both teams. Mornay van Vijk and Cameron Dalport scoring 367, not only the opening partnership, but also all the Dolphins' runs. For the Knights, Riza Hendricks knocked a quick 181 and Rudy second contributing 107. It was a treat to watch, but the home team had to bend the knee and the Dolphins taking the match by only 25 rounds. We are from Great and we are proud Knights supporters. Yeah! Congratulations, Dave. Thank you, Henry. Uh, a little something from Chevrolet. Yeah. And uh, Mark, Why his birthday is today. Congratulations. Bye bye, And uh, it's an honor for us and a privilege for us to um, celebrate this uh, yes. incredible day, your uh, <laughs> birthday. Mario, <laughs> look, I <laughs> <laughs> I could run, I could run, I could run, I could say bye bye donkey. I mean, I mean, I, I've really loved my birthday today. I've been with friends, I've been in the right place, been with the Chevrolet, the Knights, that's what all counts. That's it for this edition of It's Night Time. Join us again next time for some more insight into the lives of the Chevrolet Knights. Follow us on Twitter at Knights Cricket.